I've been here for about 25 years. And through that, I've been director of wind studies, and I've spent time coordinating all the chamber wind program, and also been chair of the brass department for a while. Right now, I'm focused entirely on conducting and working with my conducting students. Some things that I really try to emphasize is first off, truly understanding the music. And that goes beyond the score study of simply understanding harmonic progressions and mot motivic development, but really understanding the emotional content of the music and the journey it takes and the storytelling and how to amplify that through your understanding of the music and then how you present it to your ensembles to really help the music come to life. Another thing I really like to emphasize is understanding gesture. Understanding how to refine your approach to movement so that you have an elegant, a powerful, a colorfully diverse approach to conducting that really connects to the music and connects to the ensemble that you're working with. I feel it's critical that you get the experience of working in front of the group and spending time actually conducting. I have the great honor of working with the Lamont Wind Ensemble. It's multiple recipient of Downbeat Award for the outstanding symphonic band in the country. It's a great ensemble and my conducting students have an opportunity to conduct on every concert. So you'll have tons of podium time, tons of feedback from me and interaction so you can grow as a conductor on every concert and progress with what you're doing. The mainstay of what you're going to be doing is of course working with the Lamont Wind Ensemble. That meets Tuesdays and Thursdays from 4 to 6. You'll either be conducting that group or you'll be performing with them. And then in addition to that, you'll be working with me in conducting lessons um, at least once a week, more often more than that, especially as we're getting ready for recitals. So you'll be taking wind literature courses and uh, choral studies courses in, in choral conducting or orchestral conducting. All those will work into your schedule. And then for many of our students, they get involved in a lot of extra activities. They start to connect with the professional community and doing professional conducting outside of the university, or they're working with student composition recitals or other recitals where they've been asked by students in preparation of their recitals to help as a conductor. We're a small private school. We do have a lot of financial support, so please come and ask. See what we can do to help you. But along those lines, you're going to get a lot of personal attention here. I personally will be very invested in making sure that you get everything you need to be successful in what you're trying to do as a conductor, as a musician, and as a person.